Sa pangunguna ng tagapamahalang pangkalahatan ng kapatid na Eduardo V. Manalo, ay napakalaki na ng pagunlad ng Iglesia ni Cristo dito sa lokal ng Lady Brand sa Free State, South Africa. Kitang-kita ng mga residente, hindi lamang ang mga naipatayo sa compound na ito, kundi higit sa lahat ay damang-dama nila ang pagmamahal ng mga kaanib sa Iglesia ni Cristo. Sa special report na ito ay muli nyo kaming samahan sa South Africa at aming ibabahagi sa inyo ang magkakasunod at malalaking aktibidad ng Iglesia ni Cristo sa dakong ito. Dito sa bansang South Africa, kabilang sa mga komunidad na naunang inabutan ng tulong ng Iglesia ni Cristo ay ang Lady Brand. Nasaksihan namin noon ang dalawang magkasunod na lingap sa mamamayan na sinagawa rito. For the first time here in Manyalsen to have a, such a big event like this one, especially the church to bring the, this event here, is so amazing for us. We are very happy, very happy. There are many people here who are suffering, don't have food, sleeping with empty stomachs. And we say thank you for this project. Sa panahon ng pag-aabot ng tulong, ay madarama sa mga residente ang labis na pangangailangan. Thank you very much. Bukod sa pamimigay ng food parcels, dito ay naglunsad ang Iglesia ni Cristo ng isang komprehensibong livelihood project. Sa kasalukuyan ay daan-daan na ang napagkalooban ng hanap buhay. May mga nabigyan ng kabuhayan sa Eco Farm, gayon na rin sa Livestock Farm. Ah, it's a big, a very big opportunity for me. I'm working in a good future, brother. Ever since I worked and uh, worked inside the Church of Christ, because I have realized that after I've turned into a new leaf, I'm working in the right path, in the right direction. Sa ibabaw ng lahat ng ibinahagi sa mga residente ay ang paggabay sa kanilang pamumuhay sa pamamagitan ng mga aral ng Paginong Diyos. Lots of people are changed because they saw how the members of the Church of Christ are living and the motivation is uh, the Bible studies, the, 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 the lesson that they got from the Bible studies, that's the thing that motivates them. Para matugunan ng mabilis ang dumaraming bilang ng mga kaanib, nagpatayo rito ng gusaling sambahan na inihandog sa Paginong Diyos ng tagapamahalang pangkalahatan ng Iglesia ni Cristo ang kapatid na Eduardo B. Manalo. Sa araw ding yon, ay isinagawa ang inaugurasyon ng paaralan ng mga nagbiministro sa Iglesia ni Cristo. Paglipas lamang ng limang buwan, natapos ang ipinatayong tanggapan ng Distrito Eklasyastiko ng Southern Africa. Halos isang taon pa ang lumipas, muli kaming nakabalik sa South Africa para sa isang serye ng mga aktibidad. Nasa tapat lamang ng gusaling sambahan ng lokal ng Lady Brand ang dako ng gawaing pansibiko. Ito na ang ikatlong pagkakataon na nagsagawa ang Iglesia ni Cristo ng malaking lingap sa mamamayan para sa mga pinakamahirap na residente sa lugar na ito. I'm very happy for the food. I'm very poor. I'm very, very poor. The food are going to help me. I'm very pleased. God bless you. Lahat ng pumila, matanda at bata ay masayang tumanggap ng food parcels. Happy. <laughs> yes. For this food, we eat so much. It makes me feel so happy because the English and in Christ to help us, brother. We love it, Church of Christ, brother. He helps us to eat. 
Thank you, Church of Christ. Thank you very much. Mahigit sa 20,000 food parcels ang ipinamahagi. Laking pasasalamat ng lokal na pamahalaan sa nagpapatuloy na gawaing pansibiko. Everybody that you see here, it's everybody who doesn't have food on their table. You can see by the numbers that people also appreciate. They appreciate the help that the church is giving to us. And for that, I don't even have words to describe how I feel at the moment. I'm excited. I feel blessed, I feel hopeful, I'm, I'm very happy. You know, you're doing what we cannot do as government. And we appreciate that because the people that are going to benefit, the beneficiaries, there's a lot of them. It's food for them and we appreciate that a lot. Ang mga proyekto ng Iglesia ni Cristo sa Lady Brand ay nakatawag ng pansin, hindi lamang sa mga residente kundi maging sa mga dumarayo rito, katulad ni Samuel. It was because of the people of whom I saw or witnessed going to the church, getting blessed every day. And then I urged my family that I heard of a church, it's called Iglesia na Cristo. I also met Sister Elizabeth, one great kind of a lady. We started our Bible study with Brother Danny Lovino. We went there each and every Saturdays. We met Brother Sam and his family. That's where we started the Bible lesson at her place also. Si kapatid na Matsela Matsuso, kapatid na Tumahuli, nag-anyaya po sila ng maraming mga tao. Unang-una po ay ang kanilang pamilya. Kaya ang unang nabautismuan po doon sa Mikiling, Fixburg, ay ang magkakapatid na tumahuli at ang kapatid na Maria at ang kapatid na Igno. The number of members here um, is growing. Um, I can um, assure you that it grows every time when we have a world group worship service and even a um, prayer. So I'm grateful that the church is here because it shows that God works. Mula sa Lady Brand ay halos isang oras ang paglalakbay patungo sa Fixburg. Junyo 2018, nang isagawa ang unang pagsamba ng Iglesia ni Cristo sa dakong ito ng Fixburg. Bilang pagmamalasakit ng mga kaanib sa Iglesia, hindi lamang sa kanilang buhay espiritual, kundi maging sa kanilang mga pangangailangan sa araw-araw. Dito ay nagsagawa ng lingap sa mamamayan. In Zone 8 and Extension 11, There are so many parents that are unemployed, poverty-stricken place. Isang araw pagkatapos ang isinagawang lingap sa mamamayan doon sa Lady Brand ay kasunod na isinagawa ang malaking aktibidad dito naman sa Fixburg. I'm humbled by the church and we are very much grateful that we are giving food parcels to this community. It's going to make a difference in their lives. I'm happy for the food because our child didn't give us food when we are poor. They only want money from the people. The Church of God was so good. They give us food. At upang lalong maipakilala sa mga taga rito ang Iglesia ni Cristo, ay ipinapanood sa kanila ang isang video presentation. Nais natin na makilala ng mga Aprikano ang Iglesia ni Cristo. Nakita nila yung ginagawa natin lingat na hindi lamang pala dito sa South Africa kundi sa buong mundo. Tigit sa lahat, kaya natin pinakita ang video presentation para na makita nila yung ginagawa natin pagsamba sa Diyos. Makilala nila ang tunay na Diyos at ang tunay Iglesia sapagkat yun ang tunay na lingap na may labot natin sa kapwa-tao natin. When they saw the video, because I was at the back, I was looking at them, uh, many of them, they were acceptable. They look, and then, because they started to ask questions, what is this church? So the church was explained to them what is the Church of Christ in Sisutu, in their own language. 
it is more helpful here in this place when they listen to their language. In that uh, video of showing me, I was start crying, but I know what happened there. We also have uh, a few people from the other land come and help us. That's beautiful. Not you are black and you write it, but you every, everyone go into the end. And I love the church. Dahil sa kanilang mga napakinggan na mga aral ng Panginoong Diyos, gayon na rin ay isa na damang pagmamahal mula sa mga kaanib sa iglesia. Ngayon pa lamang ay meron na silang paanyaya. Could you please open the church for us here in Fixbeck? As a belief, we want to pray God. We welcome the church so that even next time when we have an activity of this nature, you can come, you are most welcome. Kaugnay ng isang serye ng Aid to Humanity Project ng Iglesia ni Cristo, kasunod na nilingap ang mga residente ng Hadi ni Zulu sa Bansang Lisuto. The people here in Hadi ni Zulu, since they are far away from the town, you know, it's very difficult for them to get their basic need for daily. But then the Church of Christ came and then gave them these food parcels for them. And it is very essential. It's very important because now they are theirs and their families they are going to eat today. And then you can see the smile on their faces. And this is the first time that the Church of Christ did this within the village. And no other church except the Iglesia de Cristo. Pagkatapos na sila'y maabutan ng tulong, ay tumuloy kami sa isa pang dako ng lingap sa mamamayan. Sa ikaapat na araw ng magkakasunod na lingap sa mamamayan dito sa South Africa sa Bansang Lisuto, ay narito kami ngayon sa Petrosburg sa Free State, South Africa, kung saan mahigit sa 10,000 residente ang tutulungan. Isa si Yvonne sa maagang pumila. Ibinahagi niya sa amin ang matinding kahirapan na kanilang nararanasan. Half, half of Petersburg is here. You can see how hungry we are. There are some people that like, they would wonder if What are we gonna eat today? Kaya naman, laking tuwa nila na sa araw na ito ay may pinamahaging tulong mula sa Iglesia de Cristo. Uh, thank you, thank you very much of the church what they have done to us. Thank you for my, uh, my present. I'm, I'm going to eat today with my kids. I'm very, very happy. No, no, no one of the church have done this. This is the first church to do this. You've done something very well for us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Church of Christ. It's going to help a very, very, very many people. Because of many people around here are suffering. There are kids here without parents. We will be happy our kids. They will, at least they will go to bed with full stomachs and all of that. I thank you very much. So I'm very grateful for the food parcels. Then I can say the thanks a lot to the, to the Church of Christ. That's food you have given us. They are going to help us a lot. We are not having each and nothing in the house. God must bless you. And on behalf of those people who cannot to pass the, their own message to Brother Edward of Mialalo, I would like to say this in Takalo. Mahal na mahal kita po yung magkapatid Brother Edward of Mialalo pa. Ang isinagawang Aid to Humanity ay bahagi lamang ng inaabot na lingap ng Iglesia ni Cristo para sa mga taga Petrosburg. Nao na rito itinatag ang pangmatagalang tulong sa kanila, ang Eco Farm at Livestock Farm. Sa population po dito, halos 70% po ang walang trabaho po. Kaya nung magkaroon po ng ganitong proyekto ang iglesia, tuwan-tuwa po sila sa proyekto ng pamamahala. Nung kabuang farm po natin dito sa Petrosburg ay humigit kumulang 2,800 hectares po. May kasama po tayong livestock na uh, farming, yung cattle. Isa si kapatid na Gary Taka sa mga nakinabang sa proyektong ito. Uh, basically, the economy is low and then there are not many jobs, especially here in Petrosburg, thanks God. And anyway, this is an opportunity to, for other people and the community here is also blessed, I think, by the opportunity that came to their 
place. Thank you, Church of Christ! Sa pagpapatuloy ng pagtulong sa kapwa, ipinasya ng tagapamahalang pangkalahatan ng Iglesia ni Cristo ang kapatid na Eduardo Vimanalo ang pagkatatag dito ng housing project. Ang inaugurasyon ay pinangunahan ng kapatid na Glicerio Santos Jr., ang General Auditor ng Iglesia ni Cristo. Ito po ang isa sa mga units. Makita po ninyo, meron siyang malawak na espasyo. Merong dalawang kwarto. At ang mga kwarto na ito ay maluwag para sa mga titira din po dito. Hindi rin problema rito ang kuryente dahil sa may solar power para sa kanila. At tiniyak din ng namamahala sa iglesia na mayroong tubig para sa mga residente. Kaya halos lahat ay narito na nakahanda para sa mga titira sa housing project na ito. It is super. I mean, just fantastic. Because uh, basically, people uh, don't even have such kind of housing in their own community. As far as I'm concerned, I've been around for quite a long time. This is the only project I've seen now in here. Sa bagong komunidad na ito, ang pinakamahalaga sa mga itinatag ay ang gusaling sambahan ng Iglesia ni Cristo. Sabik na dinaluhan ng mga kapatid mula sa iba't ibang dako ang unang pagsamba sa lokal ng Petrusburg. Ang pagkakatalaga po ng gusaling sambahang ito ang magiging sentro po ng buhay po ng aming mga kapatid po sa dako ito. Lalo dito po ginagawa ang mga pagsamba po sa ating Panginoong Diyos. New House of Worship, brother, is going to be a unique place for people to have or hear about the gospel, the good news about God. The people here are very blessed, brother. Kabilang sa mga bagong gusaling sambahan sa distrito ng Southern Africa ay ang ipinatayo sa bansang Lesotho. Si kapatid na Andre Silva ang unang ministro sa Iglesia ni Cristo na nangaral sa bahagi ito ng Lesotho. Si kapatid na Zach Mahanetsa naman ang kanyang naging translator. The Church of Christ, Iglesia ni Cristo, what they do is to teach everything in the Bible. So it is very easy to convince someone because he can see we are not giving our opinions. That's why the people here, they believe in the true gospel. And then they decided most of them to be baptized. It has given uh, my community a great impact because they, 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 they like it and now they... They think it is an encouragement. They talk about good prayers, good services. That's what they told me. It is really very good for them. Dati rati ay sa lokal ng Hapochani pa sila dumadalo ng pagsamba. May kalayuan sa dakong ito. Sumalit noong Pebrero 25, 2017, ay nagsimula na ang pagsamba ng Iglesia ni Cristo dito sa Hadi ni Zulu. Sila po ay sumasamba sa mga bahay ng mga kapatid. No? Yung mga kapatid na talagang naghahangad na iparating ang araw ng iglesia, hindi lang sa kanilang sariling sambayan, kundi sa kanilang mga kapitbahay. Ang pagdaraos ng pagsamba sa tahanan ng ilang kaanib sa iglesia ay bahagi na lang ngayon ng kasaysayan. Mula sa Masero na siyang sentro ng Bansang Lisuto ay nasa 60 km ang layo patungo sa Hadinizulu at pagpasok sa village na ito ay mapapansin malayo pa lang ang pinakabagong landmark, ang bagong gusaling sambahan ng Iglesia ni Cristo. Ang hanggad natin kung bakit may gusaling sambahan ay para ang tao ay lalong mapalapit sa Diyos. Sa kabila ng kahirapan ng buhay, kasama ng tao ang Diyos. Nakakapaglingkod tayo ng tapat, panatag tayo. Yan ngayon ang katangian ng maraming mga kapatid dito sa Hadi Nuzulu. Sa pagtatalaga sa Diyos ng gusaling sambahan, ay dumalo rin ang mga kapatid mula sa iba't ibang lokal dito sa Bansang Lisuto. Despite the hindrances and everything, we managed to arrive here safely and we are very happy for our brethren in this part of the world. 
I'm very happy to see this new church is so magnificent. Uh, in our country, there is no church like this one. So I'm very, very, very happy. I appreciate it too much. I am so, so proud and I'm so happy to see it. So, so beautiful. Sa kanilang pinakamaayos na kasuotan, maaga silang nagtungo sa gusaling sambahan. Sa pangunguna ng mga may tungkulin sa iglesia, lahat ng mga kapatid ay sama-samang naghandog ng kapurihan sa Panginoong Diyos. Sa pagtuturo ng kapatid na Glicerio Santos Jr., ministro ng Ebanghelyo, ay binigyang diin ang kahalagahan ng gusaling sambahan sa buhay ng mga lingkod ng Panginoong Diyos. Si kapatid na Milwa Monatisa, na nakadistino sa lokal ng Hadinizulo, ang nagsilibing tagapagsalin sa wikang si Suto. Our language is not so far away from the language of Lesotho. In fact, uh, Lesotho is the mother tongue of our broken uh, Soto. So to get to know the, the language here and to apply it easily in teaching, uh, it has been an advantage for me to get to introduce the church to a lot more people. We have so many friends here, Bo. That's why we, first of all, we started inviting them to come to this worship service today, Bo. I just want to give special thanks to Guy Eduardo. This is the power of God. We can see our love here in Africa. We see that you care for Africa. It is really encouraging and we are thankful that he thought about our country, the entire country, especially to come and build a church here in Mahalaning, Hadenesul. Even though we are this far in the mountains of the Sotho, we can feel the, the love that comes from the church administration, Paul. We thank you, Paul, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo. Sa pagkakaroon ng mga ministerial worker na nakapagsasalita ng wikang si Sotho, ay mas naging madali na maipalaganap ang mga kalooban ng Panginoong Diyos. Oho, piling ka ba? I used to live by the things of this world. I didn't know anything about God, but since I became a member in the Church of Christ, um, I heard that their teachings were true and they were also written in the Bible, and that changed my life because I now know who is the true God and I'm now living a righteous life. I used to spend my weekends in vain and doing nothing, but ever since I joined the Church of Christ, I'm busy, I'm learning more about the true God, and I'm always attending worship services. We can now know the truth about who God is and about the Bible because we attend studies, which is something that we never did before, so we are very grateful. We thank our Almighty God because we didn't have this opportunity before to worship our Almighty God knowing that He will be able to accept our worship. This is an opportunity for that we have to grasp, especially now that we have the house of worship. We have to come here, do our devotional prayers here, knowing that our Almighty God will be able to answer our prayer. This chapel is a great blessing to us and it's the true church, Church of Christ. I was like, oh, we have the true church in our village. These people are going to see salvation. Kinikilala ng mga kaanib sa iglesia na ang magkakasunod ng mga tagumpay na nasaksihan dito sa Africa ay bunga ng pagtulong ng Panginoong Diyos sa kanyang pagkasangkapan sa pamahala sa iglesia. What do you mean by that? We've been waiting for this day for a very long time. We thank you very much. Mula po rito sa distrito ng Southern Africa, ako po si kapatid na Montreville Boy para sa INC TV Special Report.